they feel they're faced with anarchy, with death, with threats, with intimidation, how can we collectively push back and what happens next? Uh, I'll start with a rather radical statement. There's this word that everybody is afraid of, the word anarchy. I don't know why you're playing safe around that word. Anarchy is a political ideology. And it is the political ideology that the government wants to push us to. And I say this because if you analyze what the word anarchy is, it's just basically anti-Rutoism. Because what uh, the outgoing President Ruto is running is akin to what could be described as, uh, and, and, and pardon my largesse, a kakistocratic tumbocracy. In the sense that the only way you can qualify for this government is if you're utterly corrupt, if you're utterly inept and uneducated, and if you have a name that has bedeviled this country for long. So sorry to break it to you, fellow comrades in uh, the Catholic University of East Africa and all other school-going children, that you will never be in government because you're educated and you stand for something. Dimwits all of you. That is what we are fighting. I need us to be alive to this reality because that informs our now and that will inform our what next. I used to be shy of this question, but Kenya is akin to, I would liken our beloved country to a beautiful woman in a narcissistic and abusive relationship. And asking that woman what next is after she bears her heart out to you and you tell her, wa, sauta do. It is imperative, it is incumbent upon us to, one, figure out how do we take our friend from this situation because otherwise we run the risk of victim blaming. And a lot of the times the people who are asked what next are the victims. It has never been to the powerful people because they know exactly what is now and they know that up to a hundred generations they will be sorted off the blood of your backs. And they use your blood to sign political deals. That's all that's needed. Um, Kitambo, it used to be signatures. Nowadays, the more lucrative thing in my analysis is the blood of young men. Not even for rituals or anything, because you guys are not that important. I need to remind you, when you're walking around, don't you dare think that you're a human being. You're nothing in this country as a young person. We despise you and we hate you. And that is why when uh, there are police excesses and we go on the streets, we are told, tone down. Between you and a headless chicken, I see no difference. This is how we push back. It is in the remembrance of the cruelty that this regime has meted upon us. When you remember that corruption is akin to genocide, when someone steals money that was meant for vaccines, when someone steals money that's meant for higher education, when someone steals money that's meant for food, it should anger you because there are millions who will never get to see the light of day. We push back because of the resolve we have while saying, Daima Sisi wa Kenya. We will push back because what next looks like this? We will deal circumferentially with this government. We will root it out. We will ensure that all these corrupt uh, officials face the law. We will ensure that rogue policemen, and it has gotten to a point where we have to be very radical in our communication in the sense that abnormal behavior during abnormal times is normal behavior. The state is trying to push young men and women to violence because they cannot reason. That is why the only way the state can deal with you is if they criminalize you yeah. because they know they can manipulate criminal law. We push back by remembering the comrades that we have lost. We will okay. push back because we are Kenyans and as my sister and comrade Masita Rus would say, Kenya ni home. Thank you for that. Powerful statements there. I know we're really short of time and there's still a song <laughs> to be sung before we go. But I mean, such, such amazing sentiments from you both. Um, maybe as you wind up, uh, Elizabeth, and I'll probably come to you as well, Irene. Uh, there is this um, sense of we need that conviction and resolve.